हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोरियर इंटीग्रल ऑफ इवन एंड ऑड फंक्शंस इफ यू रिकॉल द टॉपिक ऑफ फोरियर सीरीज देन वी नो दैट इफ वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ इवन फंक्शन देन इट विल कंटेन ओनली कोसाइन टर्म्स एंड Fourier series of odd terms will contain only sine terms. So here also, whenever we have even or odd function, then Fourier integral of even function will contain only cosine terms, and Fourier integral of odd function will contain only sine terms. So let's understand uh, how our calculations can be minimized if we have either even or odd function. so suppose we consider fx uh, be a function which is defined for all x in the interval from minus infinity to infinity and if we want to find out fourier integral of this function fx then we know that uh, first we have to decide what is a omega and b omega a omega is given by 1 over pi integral from minus infinity to infinity fx times cos omega x dx and b omega is given by 1 over pi integral from minus infinity to infinity fx times sin omega x dx and uh, using this a omega and b omega uh, we can represent our function fx as a fourier integral fourier integral of fx is fx is integral from 0 to infinity a omega cos omega x plus b omega sin omega x and here we integrate with respect to omega we are not integrating this we are just writing d omega here because here we have function of x and we know that equality holds at every point where fx is continuous and at point of discontinuity equality will be equal to average of left hand and right hand limit of function fx at that point now we consider two cases suppose our function fx is even if fx is even function and we know that if we have even function fx and uh, uh, if uh, even function fx is multiplied with cos function uh, suppose fx is even and we know that cos function is also even and product of two even functions is even so if our function fx is even then this fx into cos omega x is also even function and we know that if we have even function which is integrated over this type of interval with opposite end points then it is equal to 2 divided by pi integral from 0 to infinity fx cos omega x dx if fx is even this integral from minus infinity to infinity is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to infinity and uh, suppose uh, here fx is even and uh, sin omega x is odd function and product of even and odd function is odd and we know that if we are integrating odd function over this type of interval with opposite end points then integral is always zero so if fx is even b omega will be zero a omega will be given by this formula 2 times 1 over pi 0 to infinity fx cos omega x dx and here also because b omega is zero we will have only this term a omega cos omega x d omega so whenever our function fx is even b omega will always be equal to 0 and a omega will be equal to 
टू डिवाइडेड बाई पाई इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ एक्स कॉस ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा हियर आई हैव टू राइट सॉरी डी एक्स बिकॉज वी रिक्वायर फंक्शन ऑफ ओमेगा हियर देर फॉर इंटीग्रल इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एंड इन दिस केस फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल विल कंटेन ओनली कोसाइन टर्म्स फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल ऑफ इवन फंक्शन फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल ऑफ इवन फंक्शन इज एफ एक्स इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ए ओमेगा कॉस ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा बिकॉज डी ओमेगा इज जीरो इफ अवर फंक्शन इज इवन फंक्शन देर फॉर वी हैव ओनली दिस पार्ट इन द इंटीग्रल साइन ए ओमेगा कॉस ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एंड दिस इंटीग्रल दिस इंटीग्रल ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फोर ईयर कोसाइन इंटीग्रल विच इज नोन एज बिकॉज इट कंटेंट्स ओनली कोसाइन टर्म्स फोर ईयर कोसाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ गिवन फंक्शन एफ एक्स सो रिमेंबर इफ एफ एक्स इज इवन हाफ ऑफ द कैलकुलेशन विल बी मिनिमाइज वी डोंट हैव टू कैलकुलेट बी ओमेगा If f x is even, we can write directly that b omega is zero, and a omega is given by integral from zero to infinity, and Fourier integral becomes Fourier cosine integral. So whenever we have even function, Fourier integral of f x is Fourier cosine integral or Fourier integral with cosine terms only. Another possibility is suppose fx is odd function if fx is odd function now if fx is odd function then uh, we can again understand from this this is general formula now we have fx as a odd function fx is odd function and cos omega x is even function product of odd and even function is always odd function and interval is from minus infinity to infinity therefore a omega equal to 0 if f is odd function and what about b omega so now f is odd function sin omega is also odd function and product of two odd functions is even so in this case we are integrating even function from minus infinity to infinity therefore this can be written as 2 over pi integral from 0 to infinity fx sin omega x dx now so what we have obtained if f is odd a omega is 0 b omega is given by this formula and because a omega is 0 fourier integral will contain only this function in the integral so that means we obtain fourier integral which contains only sine terms and it is known as fourier sine integral of fx if fx is odd in that case a omega is 0 b omega is equal to 2 divided by pi integral from 0 to infinity fx time sin omega x dx and fourier integral becomes fx is integral from 0 to infinity here a omega is 0 and we are left with b omega sin omega x d omega fourier integral contains only sin terms and it is known as fourier sin integral of fx which is known as fourier sin integral of fx so if you can decide or if you can if you have an a question in which your function is either even or odd then half of the work will be reduced if function is even b omega will be 0 if function is odd a omega will be 0
if function is neither even nor odd then we have to calculate both now if you recall we have obtained fourier integral of this function in lecture number 1 fx equal to 1 if mod x is less than 1 and 0 if mod x is greater than 1 and if you recall uh, we have discussed or we have obtained the fourier integral of this function in lecture number 2 not in lecture number 1 in lecture number 2 we have obtained fourier integral representation of this function and if you recall uh, we had sketched the graph of this function also if x is in between minus 1 to 1 value of function is 1 so graph was like this in minus 1 to 1 graph is constant function fx equal to 1 and it is 0 outside this interval so graph of the function in minus 1 to 1 graph of the function if x is greater than 1 is on x axis if x is less than minus 1 graph is on x axis and if we observe this graph of fx is symmetric about y axis graph of this function is symmetric about y axis and if graph of given function is symmetric about y axis then our function is even function so because this function is even function i can directly write that b omega is 0 and i can calculate a omega using the formula 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity fx cos omega x dx and uh, uh, so you can do the same problem which we have done in lecture number 2 using this uh, uh, benefit of even function you don't have to uh, write the formula for b omega also you have to just write that this uh, graph is symmetric about y axis therefore function is even function therefore b omega is 0 and a omega is given by this formula 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity fx cos omega x dx so remember uh, if our function fx is even then b omega is 0 if our function is odd a omega is 0 and in this case fourier integral will contain only cosine terms therefore we will obtain fourier cosine integral and uh, similarly if fx is odd we will obtain fourier sin integral so if you wish you can take the benefit of even or odd function if your function in the question is either even or odd then you you need not calculate either a omega or b omega and half of the work will be reduced so in this session we have discussed about fourier integral of even and odd functions in upcoming lecture we will discuss one example related to this lecture thanks for watching